Okay, hello fellow traders. Uh, we hope you had a good weekend. So our team was busy uh, prepping for the next week because we expect that uh, next week is going to be a tough week. So we better prepare hard. Okay, so um, just let us start by talking about the Forex calendar. So as you can see, um, the week ahead, we have the uh, Aussie policy, right? Okay, and we also have the Jackson Hole. This is another big event. And of course, the FOMC. So based on uh, our past experience, we know that uh, FOMC has been a very, it's going to be a very difficult week to trade. So we actually highlighted this in our book, right? We keep talking about this over and over again. Okay, Even if you don't get a copy of our book, um, definitely look at uh, the screenshot that we sent because we actually uh, really, you know, we, we crop out that portion of the book just for you so that you have better understanding. So if you've seen this week, right, or rather last, you know, last trading week, the trading week that we just had, uh, we on Monday, we already predicted that the market will trend, okay, and it did trend, correct? So that shows the power of understanding the uh, Forex calendar, okay? So now let us go into um, the currencies that we're going to analyze. So based on our poll, um, you guys actually won the gold trade, gold, and also won the euro dollar. So um, both of them was quite close. So we figured, okay, never mind. Let's just analyze both. So right now we're in a gold chart. Okay, so um, gold is looking pretty. Um, it's a bit hard to trade. So right now what we see over here is that it's definitely still an uptrend. Okay, because uh, I mean, look at this. You cannot deny that this is just uptrend. Okay, comes here right, and uh, here comes down here. So in a sense, it looks like there is like a bit of a head and shoulders forming over here, okay? But uh, as you know, a head and shoulders is not confirmed until it, it breaks this, right? Okay, which it hasn't. So right now, we are seeing a resistance level and support levels. So let me just delete this first. Okay, so we are seeing, seeing resistance at 1522.91, which is quite obvious, it's over here. So last week market was pretty nasty. It did a uh, fake out, okay? Uh, this candle closed above the zone, right? Or here, this, you see, resistance, but only to flush it back down, okay? One thing about this candle close is that uh, while it closed above, it didn't close above the previous candle high, which is this high over here, okay? So that's why, uh, that's not a very good sign. So now we see that price is down here. Actually, if you look into the micro, like, is structure you actually see that uh it reassembles kind of like a another head and shoulders if you are sharp enough you can actually pick this up right so you see it's down okay and this uh low actually went lower than this so if you understand a trend a trend by definition is you make higher low and higher high hey, sorry lower no higher highs yes higher highs and higher lows, correct? So in this case, this higher low has been violated, you see, uh, except that there's no candle close, but nonetheless, uh, price actually broke below, uh, you know, traded below this level. So now what we are seeing is that it's a potential uh, here and shoulders, right? Maybe it comes back identical, right? Identical to the left shoulder, it comes down up like that before it comes down here. So because it's a very tough, uh, you know, FOMC is coming and we expect it to be a, a very range bound. So we'll be look monitoring 1522.9 level to short. Of course, um, if you go to H1, it's clearer. Okay, we're looking at this zone over here. Okay, with a potential take profit of uh, this level, this zone here. Okay, yeah, I just want to re, re emphasize that uh, this is not a trade call. Okay, if there's a trade opportunity, we'll send it to you. But do not take this as a trade call because uh, we, we, we need to observe the price action here. And also because it's FOMC, we want to be more careful. Okay, we want to see certain things to happen first before we take a trade. Okay, so this is gold. So the next currency that we have for you would be a euro dollar. So let me just pull euro dollar out now. Okay, so Euro Dollar, we actually plotted levels already. So uh, if you are enrolled for our trading course, right, that we just released, rather a soft launch, uh, this will teach you how to draw these levels, how to determine the levels. So as obvious as it's get, um, price just broke uh, this uh, level of support, right, we tested it over here, 
and now it's still resistance. Okay, it's acting as resistance. We're expecting price to come down to the next level, which is uh, 1.103. So this one's very clear. Okay, unlike gold, um, this is much clearer. So um, one way you can possibly trade this is just take a shot right now, uh, put stop loss above and you know, just put a take profit here. Okay, this is a very clear downtrend as you can see. Okay, there's nothing ambiguous about this. So this is a better trade to take compared to go. I mean, we'll be more keen to short this, right? So you can see it's just a series of uh, lower lows, right? And lower highs. So we expect the same thing to happen towards uh, this level. Okay, nothing much to say about this. Let me just see if uh, we can get you other levels. It's a moment. Okay, so question is how do we get this zone? So actually, uh, if you look left, you see market structure. Uh, we take into account these lows over here, as well as this low here. So very simple, you just draw a rectangle. Uh, again, if you want to know, know more about how we uh, determine this kind of levels, uh, we go into depth. We even provide a case study in our trading course. So definitely check this out. Okay. So um, yep, we'll see in the trading room. Right, and uh, please trade safe because next week is going to be a tough week and most traders lose money there. So just want you to be very careful and uh, we may not see as much trade as uh, this week. But uh, most importantly is to manage your risk, right? And uh, yeah, we'll just see you in the room. Okay. We'll see you next video. If you're not subscribed to our videos, subscribe, right? Because we produce valuable content like this every single week. Okay, so we'll see you then.